<laughs> Why do we yawn? Yawning happens when we take a deep breath, usually when tired, bored, or even seeing someone else yawn. Hmm. Scientists aren't sure exactly why we yawn, but it may help wake up the brain by bringing in more oxygen and cooling it down. Some think yawning helps regulate body temperature or keep us alert. It's also contagious. Seeing, hearing, or thinking about yawning can trigger it. While mostly harmless, excessive yawning could signal fatigue, stress, or medical conditions. Hmm. How exactly do earthworms move? An earthworm moves using circular and longitudinal muscles, as well as bristles called setae. The earthworm can push the setae out of its body to grab the soil around it. To move forward, the worm uses its setae to anchor the front of its body and contracts the longitudinal muscles to shorten its body. Then the worm anchors the back of its body with setae and contracts the circular muscles to lengthen its body. The result is that the worm inches forward. Hmm. What is the purpose behind zebra's stripes? Zebra's bold black and white patterns create an optical illusion called motion dazzle, confusing predators like lions. Stripes may also deter biting insects, as the patterns disrupt the visual cues insects use to land on the zebra. <laughs> Each zebra's stripe pattern is unique, thus aiding in recognition among herd members. Additionally, stripes might help regulate body temperature by creating subtle air flows. Hmm. Why do flowers smell so very nice? Flowers smell good to attract pollinators like bees, butterflies, and birds, which help them reproduce by spreading pollen. Pleasant scents come from natural chemicals called volatile organic compounds produced by the flowers. Each flower species has a unique combination of volatile organic compounds, creating distinctive fragrances that appeal to specific pollinators. Some flowers also use their scent to deter pests or even to compete with nearby plants. Why do most animals have tails? Monkeys have prehensile tails, as in tails which can be used for holding as well as grabbing things. Hmm. Horses are known to have swatter tails, as in they use their tails to swat flies. Hmm. Some animals, like the arctic fox, use their thick furry tails to curl up, thus keeping their body warm. Hmm. Animals like kangaroo use their tails to maintain balance. Hmm. Lastly, a lizard's tail can easily break away, <laughs> thus allowing them to run away from the clutches of a predator. Hmm. Why are clouds white in color? Sunlight, which we perceive as white, is a combination of all colors in the visible spectrum. Clouds consist of water droplets that are comparable in size to the wavelengths of sunlight. When light interacts with droplets of this size, it undergoes a process called MIE scattering. Unlike other types of scattering, MIE scattering affects all colors of light equally, blending them back into white. This is why clouds appear white to our eyes. Hmm. Why do humans fear snakes? Firstly, snakes can be deadly, so a natural fear response towards them could have helped early humans avoid dangerous encounters, increasing their chances of survival. Hmm. Secondly, snakes often have distinct features like a triangular head and a slithering movement that can trigger a fear response even without a direct threat. Hmm. Lastly, direct negative experiences with snakes, like being bitten or seeing someone get bitten, may have solidified our fear of snakes. Hmm. How high do planes fly? Commercial airplanes fly at altitudes ranging between 30,000 
to 36,000 feet above the sea level. Firstly, flying at such an altitude places the airplane in the lower stratosphere of planet Earth. Lower stratosphere is located above the clouds. This helps in protecting the airplane against bad weather. Secondly, the air in the lower stratosphere is much thinner as compared to the air near the surface of the Earth. Thinner the air, lesser the resistance for the airplane. This results in higher fuel efficiency for the airplane. Hmm. Huh? Why isn't the Leaning Tower of Pisa falling down? Firstly, the Leaning Tower of Pisa doesn't fall because a line drawn from the tower's center of gravity to the ground passes through its base. Hmm. Secondly, the relationship between the tower's height and rigidity and the softness of the soil keeps the tower from falling. Hmm. Lastly, the long construction delays allowed the ground to become compact and the structure to settle, thus making the tower's foundation stronger over time. Hmm. Huh? What is human skin made up of? Epidermis, the top layer of our skin, makes new skin cells as well as protects us from germs, sun, and the rain. Also, it contains melanin, the pigment which gives our skin its color. Hmm. Dermis, the middle layer, is responsible for producing sweat as well as keeping our skin strong, flexible, and smooth. Also, it is Dermis's responsibility to tell us if something is too hot or cold. Hmm. Hypodermis, or fatty layer, is the bottom most layer. It protects our bones and muscles from injuries during a fall. Hmm. Why do humans have five fingers? A theory suggests that we have five fingers because together they make a perfect strong grip. Using them, we can operate small objects with great control and precision. Second theory suggests that three molecules called BMP, WNT, and SOX9 are responsible for our five fingers. Since in our embryonic stage, they mark out spaces specifically for these five fingers. Finally, Lim Law predicts that the number of fingers on our hand should be around five Based on the idea that since fingers must be able to reach back over our palm and cover it, the finger length should be roughly the same as the diameter of our palm. Hmm. What is the cause of birthmarks? Birthmarks are colored marks on our skin which are present at birth or appear shortly afterwards. Birthmarks are of two types, vascular and pigmented. Vascular birthmarks are caused when a lot of blood vessels clump together, or they are stretched wider than usual. Pigmented birthmarks are generally caused when cells called melanocytes grow together in clusters. Birthmarks may also be inherited sometimes, and some of them may be similar to marks on other family members. 